While addressing the United Nations General Assembly in New York, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani issued a stern warning to the United States. Rouhani slammed the U.S. as uh, saying that in order to start a negotiation, the U.S. must stop the sanctions first. He also hit out at the Trump government, saying that Iran will never negotiate with an enemy that seeks to make it suffer. We remain committed to our promises in the deal. However, our patience has a limit. When the U.S. does not respect the United Nations Security Council resolutions and when Europe displays inability, the only way shall be to rely on national dignity, pride, and strength. They call us to negotiations while they run away from treaties and deals. We negotiated with the incumbent U.S. government on the 5 plus 1 negotiating table. However, they failed to honor the commitment made by their predecessor. On behalf of my nation and state, I would like to announce that our response to any negotiation under sanctions is negative. The government and people of Iran have remained steadfast against the harshest sanctions in the past one and a half years and will never negotiate with an enemy that seeks to make Iran surrender with the weapon of poverty, pressure and sanctions. This remarks come in the wake of yes, rising indeed. tensions in the Middle East over recent attacks on Saudi Arabian oil facilities. While the U.S. blamed these on Iran, Tehran has denied the allegations. Meanwhile, President Rouhani, while outlining the initiative of Hormuz Peace Endeavor, also encouraged the countries affected by the developments in the Persian Gulf to join the Coalition of Hope. Iranian President Rouhani is also scheduled to meet Prime Minister Modi in New York tomorrow. Now we have Weon's Pakistan bureau chief Anas Malik live with us from New York. Good evening to you, Anas. What do you make of the statement by Rouhani? Do you think that there is a possibility of thorn ties between the U.S. and Iran? Well, uh, absolutely, Arsim. This is a rejection in the most clearest forms of uh, uh, of a possible negotiation or, or a mediation uh, that President Trump, as per the uh, claim by Pakistani Prime Minister that President Trump had requested him uh, to mediate between the Iran and U.S. crisis. Now, this, this crisis has been ongoing, and today, while addressing the United Nations uh, General Assembly, President Rouhani, the Iranian president, in the most clearest words, has said that uh, until and unless those sanctions are lifted, he, he or his country was not interested in any sorts of negotiations because that would mean that they are only an only photo op. Now this comes in the backdrop of that critical meeting that President Rouhani held with the Pakistani Prime Minister as well two days ago. That was a pull aside meeting. Remember it was not scheduled uh, uh, two days ago. In fact, uh, that is the same day when President, uh, Prime, President Trump and the Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan had met. Uh, they, the two had said that uh, they would want to take things forward. On the same day, we saw the uh, the uh, statement coming in from Saudi Arabia, uh, 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 from uh, France and uh, uh, Germany, backing the Saudi Arabian allegation that uh, Iran was involved in the Aramco attacks. So clearly, the Iranian side laying down its uh, its talking points or uh, its terms in the most various words. They are saying that they would not be held hostage. They, uh, that the country would not be accepting any sort of sorts of negotiations under any sanctions and in order uh, if there is if at all the u.s is serious to negotiate with the iranians then only and only if, uh, the u.s would have to remove all of its uh, sanctions on iran yes Alex. and that's coming on the back of trump's very strong statements slamming iran yesterday especially as you mentioned in terms of the saudi uh, attacks on the oil facilities tensions seem to be increasing Well, uh, the tensions are in indeed increasing between Iran and the U.S., uh, uh, but uh, uh, keeping in mind the recent Aramco attack as well, the, the Saudi oil field attack as well, uh, so, uh, at some point of time, 
they uh, the, the, the uh, talks would, would would be inevitable. Remember, President Trump uh, two days ago when I asked him his this question, uh, he said that uh, the Iranians are not abiding by the deal. Uh, it did not make very specific points on what kind of uh, what kind of points they did not abide by. But President Trump has been very stern, and so so is the Iranian side as well. And the Iranian, Iranian side today during its uh, ju uh, General Assembly uh, addressed the President Rouhani, uh, the Iranian President uh, Rouhani Hassan Rouhani. He has made it very very clear the terms of negotiations that only and only in case of any negotiations the only way forward is first remove the sanctions and then only things can move forward between US and Iran.